Once you have completed your edit, you're now ready to export your project out of Premiere. Your Premiere project is only viewable within Premiere, so your save holds all of your editing information. An export creates a self-contained video file. You can no longer edit your video from export is a cell. When we export, we create a brand new self-contained video file. To do this, we go to the file drop-down menu, select. To do this, firstly, click within the sequence on your timeline, then go to the file drop-down menu, and select export media. This window will then come up. Now when we export out of Premiere we have the ability to export any possible combination of file type and video format. So to make this an easier process in the export settings box where it says match sequence settings if we tick this it will export something that will be exactly the same as how we set up our project at the beginning. Beneath that, it says output name. If I click on the name, this will allow me to change the save location of my export. So I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to give it a name, export one, and then click save. I then click the export button here and it will start rendering up the video and exporting it out. When it is finished exporting, we'll now be able to find it in the safe location that we specified. There's the video there. We can open that up and we'll see that that is 1 minute 4 seconds for 92 megabytes of a HD file there. If we wish to specify alternative export settings, we'll go to export media and then in the format section, if we open that, we're able to specify a variety of file types. For example, if I was to select for, if I wanted to create a file for web or mobile devices, a file type that would create high quality but reduce the file size. A uh, format such as H.264, which will create an MPEG video file, would be a good option. And in here, you'll have a variety of presets based on the output that you're sending it to. Now, you want to choose the preset that, as closely as possible, matches your. You want to choose the preset that matches as closely as possible your project settings. Now we had 720p footage, so that was 25 frames, so that's HD. So I can choose this setting here. And if we scroll down, you'll see that it's already automatically dialed in all those settings. If a preset doesn't match your settings, you can manually type in your frame size and you can specify your frame rate and whether your footage is progressive or interlaced. Once you've set all of that, I'm just going to change the file name. There we are. And then we just click export again. So now we've manually changed the export settings, so it's going to create a different file type but of the same video content. So now let's compare the file size between those two. So here we have the previous MPEG file, which was 92 megabytes. And here we have the MP4 file, which is only 49. They are the same size and the quality will be equivalent, but the file type can dramatically affect the overall size of the file, bearing in mind that this is for only one minute of video footage. This is something to 
bear in mind when choosing your export settings based on what the exported video is intended for whether that's playback on the web through a service such as YouTube or Vimeo forwarding on to a DVD project or playback on a mobile device or tablet.